there was a time when he was training with a bodybuilder, I've got it written down here, called Stephen Stone. And Stephen Stone's philosophy was just get it up, not a euphemism. I knew it. I knew one day these two worlds would collide. And I'm very happy to say that today is that day. My name is Simon Miller, the board A-hole. Welcome to my fitness channel where we just talk about a bunch of nonsense related to the fitness palace of love. And that's right, Vince McMahon, the chairman of WWE, I love professional wrestling if you do not know, has been spotted in the wild, in the gym, lifting weights. Now, given that he is 75 years old, you think there would be more footage of Vince McMahon lifting weights, but there really isn't. He's an oddly private guy, even though a lot of his life has been played out in the public eye. It's a very, very strange situation. But again, let's just talk about the brass facts first. He is 75 years old. 75 years old, still training legs probably than nearly all of us. In fact, Seamus, who's another WWE superstar and does his um, Celtic Warrior workouts, it's a YouTube channel. He's even said he wants to get Vince McKennedy McMahon on his show just to show people how much he lifts in his uh, elderly years compared to even what Seamus is lifting. I think Seamus is like 42, 43. And he says, Vince McMahon outlifts me. So the cool thing is this we have two videos we can look through they're doing pit squats which i've never done and it's essentially a squat you can do using a machine that takes all the pressure off your lower back you need to remember that he's 75 years old here's a video So that was obviously his one rep max, but according to his trainer, Mike Monteforte, I think it's pronounced probably not at all, who is also in that video, they trained together seven days a week. The pair on this evening did leg press and hack squats and pit squats, and then they did 20 reps with five plates on each side, dropping to 10 reps with six plates, five reps with seven plates, and then going for the one rep max. And for McMahon, again, a 75-year-old dude, that was 22 45-pound plates for a total of 900 and 90 pounds. That's a ridiculous amount of weight. And there is so many amazing stories about Vince McMahon and his workouts. Like, I'm going to assume that it's Mike Monteforte. It's not how you pronounce his name at all. But Big E, who's also a WWE superstar, was doing an interview and he said sometimes Mike will be at a gym at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning, waiting for Vince to turn up after he's finished doing his business or traveling to the next town, and then they will work out. I mean, they built a gym in the WWE Stamford headquarters, Stamford Connecticut headquarters, so Vince McMahon could train in his his ideal scenario. This is a man that has been pumping iron and lifting weights in the fitness palace of love for a, a good few years, and he has totally turned it into a lifestyle, even in his old age, which is absolutely crazy. And you can find so much about his workouts, including how he's gone through these kind of phases. So there was a time when he was training with a bodybuilder, I've got it written down here, called Stephen Stone. And Stephen Stone's philosophy was just get it up, not a euphemism, to the point it means just get the weight to the position you're going to get it, no matter what you have to do to get there. Now, that sounds oddly dangerous to me, but that's what Vincent Mann did. And this is when he was in his late 60s. It was like, I've just got to get it above my head, so I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to get it above my head. Now, with his new trainer, he stresses they've gone the other way in the sense that it's more about what you can do safely, but that would make sense given that he's getting up there in years. But there's so many cool things as well in the sense that he doesn't like it if he's training with someone and they're shouting at him, you could do it, lift one more, come on, man, you're the best and everything like that. He will put the weight down and look at them. And that's how I feel about Instagram quotes. So it's nice we have some sort of a relationship there. But seriously, he can squat 600 pounds. And at one point was close to 700 pounds. But don't worry about the 700 pounds for now. Because he was squatting 600 pounds after hip surgery. So he had his hips fixed. And then he got back into the gym. He worked his way back up. And he was squatting 600 pounds. I don't think I've ever squatted 600 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilograms. But I'm pretty sure I've never squatted 600 pounds. So Vincent Mann is an absolute beast. And I know straight away in the comments, oh, he's taken this and he's taken that. The work effort is still crazy. Like, it's an in insane amount of dedication to the cause and of course you have all these stories as well about how he doesn't sleep now i do not advocate for that if you want to rest and recover you have to right so your body will grow better but people say he doesn't like others seeing him sleeping he doesn't like sneezing he likes to be in control of everything which kind of you know ties around what he's doing in the gym like he was training with mark henry once if you don't know mark henry is a former powerlifter. i think he was officially the world's strongest man at one point i don't believe that was just a tagline in wwe but either way he was a strong man right so he's lifting a lot of weight and he turned up at the gym for a session with Vince McMahon and he was so amped up and he had so much adrenaline 
Vince McMahon didn't want to be outlifted by him, right? This sums up the man's mindset. So he went into the changing room or whatever, and he did some work, and he gave it 60 minutes. And by that point, any, I guess, pre-workout, whatever Mark Henry had, had calmed off, and he smoked him in the gym. Mark Henry has talked about this before, how he woke up the next day in incredible pain, whereas Vince McMahon was like, yeah, don't worry about it. So it's a man that doesn't want to lose. It's a man that has to lift more than you. And I suppose it's that kind of mindset, why not only has he been in charge of a, a billion-dollar company, but also why he has been training the way he has been training, I'm going to assume, well, for 50 years minimum, probably 60 years minimum, right? I mean, lots of people start working out when they were 15 years old, but he does it all. I mean, hopefully you've seen the pictures uh, on the screen as we've been going, but you can see squats, you can see leg press, you can see lunges, you can see uh, extensions, uh, hamstring curls, everything. Nothing stops him from going to the gym. And I find it just incredible. He's 75. You can also read up about his diet as well. He eats for fuel. That's always been his, his big thing. I eat for fuel, I eat for fuel. And he loves steak wraps. You know, he loves, he loves just steak in a wrap. And he doesn't actually count his calories or his macros. He just tries to get in an incredible amount of protein. But he does have a cheat meal, which surprised me. I thought he'd be one of these guys that didn't. And his philosophy towards that is rather than sort of eat orange, Oreos over Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can just eat all the Oreos in the world on a Sunday, just randomly pulling a day out. And he believes your body will just sort it out. He talks about pasta and meat sauce. So I guess he's talking about, you know, culmination versus consistency versus just like a one-off a one-off event. But yeah, he talks about that too. So the next time you have a cheat meal, remember you are in the same category as Vince McMahon. And look, it's a big hot topic, the cheat meal at the moment. Everybody's talking about it. You know, is it a way to have a bad relationship with food? Because some people say if you are waiting to have your nice food, then all the other food you're having is not nice but i think you know if you're getting through the week and you don't feel like you need it then don't do it and if you feel like you need one a week to stay on plan then you should do it i don't really think there's a right or wrong like i look forward to my cheap meals but i also look forward to my healthy meals in the week i just like eating because i am a gluttonous mess whether or not more videos are going to come out i don't know but i hope they do because i was fascinated by this one even though it's completely low quality and it's only uh, you know like 30 seconds long if that but he is 76 in august 76 years old and i would love to see well i would have to see a feel a full plan because he trains seven days a week because of course he does i would like to see how he fits everything in he's got to be working muscle groups two times maybe three times a week so does he do cardio does he not do cardio because you never see him do anything like that i would love to know i would love just a one day i would like a complete bibliography when it <laughs> when it comes to vince mcmahon's uh, weight routine because if you're a long-term wrestling fan as well you remember when he first stormed out in a vest to take on steve austin i'm not 100 percent sure we knew that he was as as jacked as he was and even then he was in his mid 50s so who the hell knows what he looked like in his 20s and his 30s maybe he was a guy that didn't get into it seriously maybe he always lifted but took it super seriously during the attitude era in the late 90s i don't know but vince mcmahon trains harder than us all is how i'm going to leave you with this video that is my um res resolution <laughs> from everything that i've read but 990 pounds 900 hang on a minute hey google what's 990 pounds in kilograms 990 pounds is equal to 449.056 kilograms 450 kilograms on a pit squat for now i've never done a pit squat but would i put it up to 450 grams no no, I would not. Vincent Kennedy, my man, everybody. What an absolute beast. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, ding, and you'll be notified when other videos go up. There's another video right there. Give it a click. Always appreciate you hanging around with me on a day like today. Instagram, Twitter, merchandise, Patreon, all in the description below. Information on the screen as well. But, but more important than that, if you are training today, make sure you smash it. Make sure you kick ass. Make sure you put all your power into it, and then you'll get something out the other side, which you will do even if you got 50%, but 100 is better, and I'll see you on the next one.